so back to it y'all uh round two i've been working a ton on the mustang i got a lot of things done made a lot of progress so do me a favor go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already yeah it helps me out i hope you enjoy these videos and i got a lot more to come all right so coming back to you with some more mustang stuff a uh, little update i did get it running and it ran for a while and it ran great and then i started making adjustments to the carburetor try and tune it in now it won't even get running pain um so what i'm gonna do is it's been recommended to get rid of that cheap chinese carburetor that i got and have my motocraft uh, original carb it was like a 70 72 ish somewhere around in there have it rebuilt um so that's what i'm doing right now took it up to a local repair shop and rebuild shop and they are rebuilding it right now. I was gonna do it myself, but then I was like, don't have time for that, don't wanna mess with it. I don't know what I'm doing with carbs. I'd rather it be done like perfectly right. I wanna get this thing running, rolling. And uh, so yeah, it's kind of where we are right now. Um, anyways, just changed the oil on it. The oil that came out was pretty grody. Um, got some new fresh oil in there. And then next, I'm gonna take out this shifter housing because it is just, loose as can be and I'm pretty sure it's the bushings that are shot are gone I've got some new ones there's super cheap little plastic replacements for it so it's an easy peasy one hopefully I don't know so I'm gonna start taking it out I've watched a few videos on this may have to go watch some more but yeah let's do it I hope they didn't put like asbestos in here or something. This is gross. It's pretty, just like rotted out and falling apart. I'm really glad I didn't like start chopping through also because apparently there's some wires that go down in there. So that would have been bad news. Uh, also, everything looks pretty good under there. Just minus a little surface rust. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> oh, that was not exciting. Yuck, oh, man. Okay, now we can take it out from the inside of the car. <laughs> All right, so this little light clips into that little square down in there like this. It points up. Man, this thing is gnarly. Gross. So didn't film this part, but basically painted the whole interior portion of the shifter bucket here. I ended up using Eastwood Rust Encapsulator Plus. Um, hopefully it holds up. I don't know. I've never used it. We'll see. Anyways, put the housing back together here. Um, put in new bushings. 
so that way we have no wobble. Also fixed this little guy here. So now we can shift gears uh, and it'll lock. So all together, gotta work in new again. I put a new LED light in here. So now we have a shifter light inside the housing. So once I end up getting inserts for my new housing, which I was able to grab from somebody, these little pieces, I can pop those in there because unfortunately on the old one, they break off, as you can see, good times. So I'm just gonna reuse this piece too. I'm gonna pop the new piece in there and put this sucker on, yeah. And we will have a nice new situation. All right, so a few things. I did a ton of searching and hopping around forums and whatnot and asking like a bunch of people all the old timers on the you know Facebook groups and whatnot. And well, I also called Pertronics as well. You know, I put a new ignition coil in there. Apparently it was the wrong ignition coil. So that might've been why my car is not starting. That's what they told me. I narrowed it all down. I put the flamethrower two in without doing anything to the stock distributor. Um, and I just needed a regular flamethrower. Uh, I also got an electronic igniter as well. So may try to add that in after I do this, swap it out what I got, check for spark, make sure we're getting spark, and then go from there. Um, we know that the fuel's pumping into the carburetor, but we cannot get the engine to start. So yeah, I'll get it though, I'm so close, I can feel it. I also got this new um, PCV pipe as well, uh, which was a pain getting this sucker to go in. I also painted the carb spacer uh, blue. I did a, uh, a nice dupla color um, engine enamel, the Ford, dark Ford blue. I just like it out of all their colors. All right, so I started to clean up the manifold because I'm just gonna hit that with some primer and some engine enamel. Uh, kind of masked off some stuff. I'm not too worried about it because I'm gonna be spraying everything down eventually. Just kind of wanted to clean some stuff up uh, for now because it is rusting over pretty bad now that I cleaned it up. I don't know if you can see it because of the shadows, but I'm gonna take the um, gasket covers, the head gasket covers off right now. One thing I noticed when I was spraying everything down though yesterday, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm missing a, a bolt down there, which is, that's not good. So anyways, I'm gonna take them off, clean them up, and uh, spray stuff down. Pause it. Here we go. You can see the inside of this gasket. Pretty gross, but hey, it's gonna clean up pretty easy, I think. Then I can sand down the outside, paint that sucker up, and we'll be good to go. So one thing I did with the uh, valve covers is I sandblasted them, actually just with walnut shells. So I got the inside really clean, got all the gunk out. Um, it's okay that it's, you know, carbony, doesn't really matter. Then I tried to hammer out as much of the dents as possible because this thing was pretty dented up. Um, and then I just used some um, glazing putty to just hit a few spots on here to clean it up. And then after that, I'm gonna sand it down, prime, and paint. So it'll match the manifold and Ford Dark Blue.
All right, I just put a couple coats of the Ford Dark Blue Duplicolor on the valve covers. I'm gonna do one more like medium to light coat uh, just to smooth everything over, make sure I got everything in about 10 minutes. The marine layer's blowing in. Unfortunately, we live kind of close to the beach, so it means I gotta go quick and knock out this last coat. I'm gonna bring it into the garage to dry overnight. Hopefully everything flashes off nice. Uh, always clean the nozzle ends with a little bit of paint thinner. It just ensures that it stays, you know, pretty uh, pretty clean um, and doesn't sputter out on you on your remaining coats. So just a little bit of paint thinner. Hit the end of the nozzle. There we go. Clean nozzle, ready to go. So now we're gonna put the car back on. Check it out. Nice, painted, glossy, dark Ford blue manifold. It looks so fresh and so clean. Got some gaskets. Gasket, oops, wrong way. New card. Yeah. That looks good. All right, so I ended up getting an Edelbrock uh, air cleaner. And the script on it is actually, I'm kind of disappointed. This is half the reason I got it. Uh, but the screen print or whatever on it is kind of shitty. You can kind of see through it. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bummer, but I'm just gonna test fit it right now. Gotta have that gasket. One thing it did not come with, but I got it preemptively knowing I needed one. All right, now we put the air cleaner down. But gently. Yeah. That looks good. So. I got some new gaskets, the Felpro gaskets. I'm gonna drop those in. So basically I'm just taking the gasket. I don't wanna rest it down on the table because I don't wanna scratch the top since it was freshly painted. And I'm just locking in all these little tabs right here. Just like this. There we go. Nice. Okay. And make sure all the holes are lined up. Sweet. And then I've got all of my uh, cleaned up bolts for this. So let's, let's go throw the first one in. Look at how nice that's looking. Mm. Without scratching. So I'm a little bit nervous right now. I just put on new carb, uh, also changed out and added in a new PCV pipe. Uh, haven't done the base pipe yet cause I can't get to it until I just like jack up the car and I don't even know, may have to like get under there with a small drill or something. I don't know. Took the uh, air filter off um, and 
I'm gonna try and start this up with a new carb. Uh, gonna have a fire extinguisher nearby. <laughs> Here it goes. A little bit of gas. Hell yeah. So I was able to get it started and just kind of like bumped the gas a little bit, kept it going a little bit. Carb definitely needs the adjustment cause there's like little to no idle. <laughs> so yeah, got to adjust the carb, but otherwise that's good news. And it also sounds really good. Go ahead. And if you haven't already like and subscribe to my channel, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you later. All right. Bye.